here we are at the Chocolate Pots in Yellowstone National Park. And if you look behind me, there is a hot spring. And this hot spring is very different from other ones that you'll see in the park. First of all, there's the obvious thing. Most of the geyserite or sinter deposits in the park are made out of silica or carbonate, so they have a very pale color. This, well, it's very colorful because it contains oxides of different metals like iron and manganese and nickel. Another thing that makes this spring different is that it's cooler than most of the ones in the park. The water coming out of there is about 50 degrees Celsius or about 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that alone makes the chocolate pots fascinating, but in addition to it, the colors and the temperature is the fact that living in that water are cyanobacteria that are called extremophiles because they love living in hot metal rich water. And this has drawn the attention of scientists from NASA because not only are those cyanobacteria similar to the life on early Earth like two and a half to three billion years ago, that life might be what life from out in other planets in the galaxy could look like.